So you've just started off as a data analyst and you've, been, you've heard the term data warehouse and you're probably wondering what is a data warehouse and what does it do? So essentially a data warehouse is a place where an organization brings in data from external sources. So whether they've got a cell system, a POS system, a CRM system, whatever system they have that collects data, a data warehouse pulls that data in, it holds it in a staging environment, transforms it in some way, and then puts it into tables for the business to analyze. So in this video, I'm not really gonna talk about the technical aspects of a data warehouse. So things like the, the data layer or the logical layer. I'm gonna talk more about the general principles of a data warehouse. So if you're a data analyst and you've just heard about the term data warehouse, hopefully this video will help you understand what is a data warehouse. So the first thing to bear in mind with a data warehouse is that it brings in data from external sources, okay? So usually the business will have multiple sources like a POS system where they're uh, recording sales, they may have a CRM system, where they store their customer information. They may have a, um, you know, a, a, a product system where they store all of their products. So whatever they have, there are loads of different systems. That, what happens is a data warehouse will bring all, those, all that information in for a process called ETL, Extract, Transform, Load. Now you'll hear something different uh, currently called ELT, um, but traditionally it's always been ETL, extra, Extract, Transform, Load, but Extract, Load, Transform is also gaining popularity, mainly because of sort of data lakes and and those kind of things. But let's stick to ETL. So what happens is in a data warehouse, you'll, you usually have an ETL process where it will extract the data from the source systems, okay? Then what happens is when it extracts the data, it stores it in some kind of staging environment or think of it as a temporary area, okay? And that's where all the raw data is. Now, a lot of the time, the business doesn't need all of that raw data, okay? It just needs some of that raw data or it needs parts of that raw data, okay? So it, 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 it doesn't necessarily have to move all of that and store it forever. So in the staging, staging environment, it'll collect all the raw data. Then the next thing is it transforms, okay? So sometimes the data is not in the, in, the, in the format that it needs, it needs to put it into different tables. So for example, one of the things that businesses may do is that every time they record a sale, let's say it's an online company, they'll have the customer detail against that sale. Now you don't need to store the customer detail every time because it would take a lot of time. You could just store a customer ID, like a number, okay? And then you can have another table with the customer detail, full detail, name, address, email, phone number, whatever you've got and then a customer ID. So you can literally just connect their sales to their details through a customer ID. So you don't need to keep repeating the customer details every time they buy an item. Okay, so those are the kind of transform. So that's the T in transform uh, that needs to happen. Um, now what happens when, when data is being transformed, they usually put in some kind of schema. Okay, so the data warehouse or the database is in some kind of schema. Okay, that sits within the data warehouse. Now the typical schema, schema is called a star schema, but you'll hear about other types of schema. But think of it this way, when the data comes in and is in the staging environment through extract, through transform, it's being manipulated and put into a format that's easy for the business to understand. Then the last phase of load is essentially those that data is then loaded into databases or tables, okay? So think of them as big Excel tables, okay, um, that are being loaded. Now what happens is that's the essence of it. Now sometimes you may want to report on those uh, that data. That's typically why things are stored in a data warehouse for reporting purposes to be queried. Then what happens is that you may get a view. So what happens is the the, the, the way the data is stored in the raw table is probably too complex for the analyst to run. So as an analyst, you probably don't want to analyze those raw tables, you want to analyze a view. And what those views do is they usually provide a more simplified and structured way to look at the data. So that's essentially what a data warehouse is. It, you know, you extract data from source systems, you transform it into, the, into a format the business needs it from, then you load it into tables for it to be analyzed, okay? And you as an analyst will be just doing the analysis stage. If there's data that you want that you can't get access to, you'll usually ask the data warehouse developers to either bring it in for you or transform it for you if it's already in but not present for you to be able to analyze it. So if you are a, a new data analyst and you're you know you're applying for a job or you've just seen a job description or you're about to go to an interview and they expect you to be familiar with data warehousing that's essentially what it is. It's the ability it's, it's a repository where the business stores all this information in a very structured very systematic way and and is able to then analyze that data very efficiently. Now one of the things to bear in mind is that if someone wants you to be familiar with data warehousing, they'll probably expect you to know SQL skills, okay? And they'll probably also expect you to know some kind of reporting tool, okay, or business intelligence tool. And that can be something like uh, business objects, the traditional ones, micro strategy, or the more newer ones like Power BI, Tableau, Click, okay? But any reporting tool that plugs into a data ware or database is usually uh, required when you talk about data warehousing. Okay, so I hope you found that video useful. You've now got an idea about what a data warehouse is. Um, if you've got any more questions, whether it's about this term, data warehouse, or other business terms that you hear, or other data
data terms that you hear that you're not uh, sure about, please do give me, leave me a comment below in the comment section and I'll try and create a video about them or answer them in the comment section if it's easy, easy to do. Please do like the video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and of course please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.